Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys six iPhone hacks that you can try out right now on your iOS 17 device. They all work perfectly fine and they're pretty cool, making your iOS 17 device look of course way different from normal devices. Now we're starting things off with the new feature of iOS 17, which is the contact poster. Probably you have something like this. This is the poster that I have here on my contacts app and it looks pretty boring. Well, we can make this look way different. And the way to do that is by using this free app called contact photo, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Now, this is the app right here. You have the posters here. We have some pretty cool presets, which of course you can customize any of these. So you can take a look at a bunch of them right here, which actually look pretty cool and you can just try out any one you want like this one right here we tap on it and all we have to do here is tap to select the photo that we want to use from the camera roll now once i have selected the photo you will notice here that the app will automatically remove the background from the photo and you will have just like the picture here of your cell phone whatever picture you want to put there now everything here is customizable so you can see right here if i go into the frame here i can add a frame right here and of course set the width of a frame as well you will have here the bottom fade which is this one in this case but we can change it to another one if we want to you can see as easy as that we can have a custom frame as well and you will also have here the highlight which you can enable or disable for the person here on the picture and it now looks really really cool now of course you can see the buttons here this is just to show you where they will be shown when you're on the phone call but of course once you have saved this these will be removed and they will only show up when you call someone so now all we have to do here is just tap save and we're good to go so you can just go ahead and now add this as a poster to your contacts app or the phone app so let's just head on into the phone app back again so all you have to do now is add it here so you go to contact photo and poster tap right here on edit and then tap on customize and choose poster and just select the photo we just saved from the app so once you have selected the photo this is how it will look like of course you can zoom in and out here if you want to you can of course now even customize your name right there and it looks pretty awesome whenever you actually call someone that this, this will show and it actually looks pretty cool of course way way better than just like creating a poster from the stock features of ios 17. as we all know the iphones don't have a shutdown button a button that you can just press to quickly turn off your iphone you will have to use a combination of the volume buttons and the side button in order to turn off your iphone well if you have an iphone with an action button you can actually turn that into a power off button so all you have to do is just go to shortcuts tap the plus button right here and then tap on add action search for shutdown once you find shutdown you add it here of course tap on the dumb button and you're good to go now you head on to your settings app go to action button just move here to shortcuts and then just tap on choose shortcut and just choose the shortcut you just created which is in this case shut down now all i have to do is press here the action button to actually shut down my iphone as easy as that how about having a second dock on the home screen of your device? Not like this one right here, the stock one, which is actually quite boring and it only offers four different spaces for four different icons. Well, here we have a new one from Mojo Widgets and it actually looks incredible. You can have way more icons. It's rounded and you can see it has that animation, which looks pretty awesome. And it also works. It doesn't just look cool. You tap on an icon, of course, it opens the app. How cool is that? Well, you can add this with Mojo Widgets, which is a new widget app that offers some pretty incredible widgets for the home screen. And not just this one, you can go right here into the app, go into Icon Launcher. You can have this one is the one that I have on the home screen, but you can have a bunch of other ones that actually look pretty, pretty cool. Now, the way this works to make it look like this, all you have to do install this app, which again will be linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have the app installed on your device, all you have to do is just go ahead, go to your home screen, go to the edit mode and just swipe on the last page where there are no icons at all. Take a screenshot here and now go into the app. Once you go into the app, all you have to do is just go to the settings here 
and go to transparent widget tutorial and here all you have to do is just tap here and here and load the screenshot you just took on this app now once you're, you have that done all you have to do is just select the widget that you want to use in this case we have this one right here all we have to do is tap save here and we're good to go you will have a few different apps that are here of course with preset but you can just tap select any one of them and then tap right there and switch it to another app whichever app you want you don't have to do anything else now once you have the set here all you have to do is of course just add a widget from mojo widgets to the home screen and then tap on that widget tap edit right here you select the widget that you have saved and of course where it says transparent position you just select at which place you want to put it on the home screen and now you're good to go you have this pretty cool looking dock on the home screen of your device which opens apps offers way more apps and it looks way better than the stock dock of ios now here's a pretty cool new hack that you can do on your iphone using an app called action mate now this is designed to work with the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro models. And I did a video on this app, which is again, a pretty cool app. But of course, most people won't have an iPhone with the action button. So I will show you guys how to utilize this app with the other feature of the iPhones, which is back tap, which of course all iPhones do have. So what you can do here is open this app and it allows us to perform different actions combined with shortcuts based on a few different things like this one right here, whether your iPhone is facing down or facing up, whether your iPhone is on the portrait mode in the landscape left or landscape right, you can actually perform three different actions. So here's what I'm talking about. Now these are preset shortcuts that we can get from the app, but of course we can edit them as well. So we're going with device orientation. So just to add the shortcut from here, and then we have this shortcut added by the app, and it has three different actions. So basically by invoking it, when your iPhone is in portrait mode, it will start recording a voice memo. Landscape left, it will take a picture. Landscape, landscape right, it will take a video. But you can always change this simply by tapping here on the three dots, and then you will see the actions right here. So here we have record audio. If you want to change that, we can just tap the X button just to remove that action right there and we can add a new action so just like search for any other action you want here we have some like maybe let's use here set a timer let's use this one it will place it at the bottom right here so let's just set it in minutes right here duration two minutes and once you're done with this you can just drag that action and place it where the old action was the one we just removed so it's right here now we have changed the action for this shortcut now what we can do is go ahead and go to the settings app go under accessibility touch and then go here to back tap and go to double tap or triple tap whichever one you want to use and scroll down here to the shortcuts and just select the shortcut we just had there so now we have that set and what we can do here while on the portrait mode you can see i can double tap on the back here and it will actually create a timer now the first time you will have to allow that in other times you won't have to do that it will start automatically so you can see double tab there on the portrait mode it started the timer but i can switch here to the landscape mode on the right and it will perform another action let me just allow this again so it starts recording a video how cool is that but what i can also do is place it on the landscape mode on the left side and I will have another action here. So now it will actually take a picture. So double tap there again to allow these just the first time. Now I can go ahead and just take a picture. How cool is that? With back tap in this case, with one back tap, you can have three different actions based on which mode your iPhone is. And now I will show you guys how to get a 3D look on the home screen of your iOS 17 device. Now this might seem a bit more complicated, but just follow the steps that you see on the video and you will do this without a problem in a couple of minutes. So the first thing we want to do is head on to Safari and open a link, which I will leave of course right down below in the description of the video. That link will take you to this page right here. So it's home screen creator, a pretty awesome shortcut with a lot of potential. So you tap here on download and it will add a shortcut 
to, to your shortcuts app just like this. Now, what you wanna do here, the first time you run it, it will take you through like some pop-ups. You just allow those, so you don't have to do that the second time, of course. So let's just try this out. So let's click allow here. And it basically allows you to add layers to the wallpapers that you use on your home screen. That way, giving your home screen a whole new look, just like you saw right there. So first of all, what you wanna do here is select the wallpaper that you want to use tap right here and select it from your photos library. So this is the wallpaper that I wanna use, just tap allow here, tap on the dumb button. And now what we need to do is add elements to that wallpaper. Basically in this case, we wanna add some shadows and we can do that by tapping right here, add elements, and it shows you where to find them. So you go into iCloud Drive, Shortcuts, HSC, and then Content, so tap okay right there. So let's just go back here. So you can see right here, we're on the shortcuts on the files app, of course. All we have to do now is find the wallpaper, which is the, the folder, which is this one, go to content, and then you will have here icons. So if you wanna add shadows for the icons, you can do that from here. You will have shadows for your widgets as well and the dock as well. So let's go first of all for icons and let's just choose like big shadows right here. So now based on the layout that you have on the home screen, you can create this by just using these shadows right here. So in this case, with this one, you can just place shadows for all the icons if you just have icons on the home screen without a widget. But if you have a widget like I have on my home screen, which I have in this place right here, I have to create this one by one. So first of all, I had the first two row of icons at the top and then add another layer then I add the second row of icons right there, click on done, add another layer. Now I have to add these icons right here, which are on this part because I have to leave this blank here for my widget, add that right there. And now we also have to add the shadow for the widget. So tap yes again, go back here. And now we go back again and go here to widgets. And let's just find the shadow here for the widget, shadow big, there it is and we find the widget right there. And now we have it created. You can see all the icons and the widget right there. Tap on done. We don't wanna add like any other layers. We can save the layout. So when we wanna use a new wallpaper, we have the layout already saved and we just add that layout without having to go through all these steps. So tap right there and tap on done. And now here we have the wallpaper. This is how it looks. We can tap done here and we can also now hide the notch. We can add a card behind the dock if we want to, or if you don't want to do that, you just tap no. And there it goes, tap on the done button. And all we have to do now is tap on save to photo album, add the name of the album where you want to save it. And just like that, tap on the done button and just tap on always allow. And now we're good to go, we can exit the menu. Now all I have to do here is of course go to my settings and here I can just go to the wallpaper settings and add it to the home screen. So tap on customize here, tap on the photo and just load that photo simply. So there we have the photo, the wallpaper with shadows that we just created. Tap on the dumb button, tap done right here and you're good to go. And there we have it. How cool does that look? It will give your home screen that 3D look, which absolutely looks amazing. Now, if you're doing this and you have different layouts on different pages, I would suggest that you actually disable the other pages and have just one if you don't have the same layout for everyone. So it actually looks much, much better like this. And you can see you get that 3D look on the home screen, which again is totally beautiful. And last but not least, I will show you guys how to hide the dock on your device on any wallpaper. Now previously we used to just like use some wallpapers that had been created like specially to give you that effect. But now with an app, which is pretty awesome called Lockland, you can just do that with any wallpaper that you have on your device. All you have to do is open this app, tap right here and load the wallpaper you want to use. So you can see this wallpaper right here. You can see the dock. It looks there, obviously, but let's just hide it. Let's tap here and load the picture. So all you have to do is load the photo. It will use a color combination from that wallpaper to actually add that effect. So all I have to do now is just save this and of course then add it as a wallpaper on my device.
So it has been saved under the camera roll of my device. And you can see now I can just set it as a home screen wallpaper. And now we have that set as a wallpaper on the home screen. And tell me how cool does that look? We have here a totally new home screen. No background on the dock, shadows behind the icons. It makes the home screen really look beautiful. And of course, way different from stock iOS. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are six hacks that I suggest you try out on your iPhone. They're pretty fun and, of course, will make your device look much, much better. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you on the next one.